Hi, martial arts addicts all over the world. Got another video for you. Check this one out. In this video, I want to keep with my current Wing Chun versus MMA challenge and talk about how this could have happened during the 90s. Now, in 1993, the first Ultimate Fighting Championship to tournament took place, paving the way for the current MMA popularity that we have today. However, the UFC of the early days was a much different beast to the UFC of today. Back then, the Ultimate Fighting Championship had one purpose, or two purposes, depending on how you look at it. Um, the first purpose was that it was to pit the top martial artists from different styles and get them to fight in order to see which style had the best fighter. Another way to look at it was it, it, it was a, like a commercial for the Gracie family to show the world how effective their Brazilian style of Jiu-Jitsu is. And the Gracies did just that. From that moment, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu went from being pretty much unknown to now being one of the most popular martial arts in the world. The UFC won two and three and four showed us Hoist Gracie defeat boxers, shoot fighters, kickboxers, karateka, uh, taekwondoists, wrestlers, uh, uh, often whilst being the smaller and lighter of the two combatants. Wing Chun Kung Fu up to that point was a world famous martial art, primarily because for one thing it was a martial art that Bruce Lee had originally learnt and developed his Jeet Kune Do from. Now, everyone in the Western world who was into martial arts pretty much wanted to be Bruce Lee. So the promoters of the first UFC obviously wanted to get Wing Chun into the mix. And the top guy at that point was a German guy called Emin Boss Tepe. Now, Emin has proclaimed himself as holding an undefeated record of 300 bare hand fights. So being the top man of Wing Chun, Emin got a call from Art Davey, who was the promoter of the UFC during that time. And when offered a chance to fight, he said, No, I really don't think so. Thanks. Emin basically said that he didn't support such things and that it, he didn't think it was good for the art. Plus, he was retired from fighting anyway. Now, he reckons that a few days later, his students called him up to inform him that he was being called a chicken on the internet by some Gracie students for turning down the Gracie challenge. Emin was not very happy about this and he felt that it was Art Davey who had caused this. So he went and called Art Davey up and said to him, Yo, what's all this about you calling me a chicken? Art Davey was like, But Emin was like, Bullshit, Mr. Handman. He said that no one had challenged him to anything, only that he'd been invited to take part in a tournament and had said no. So he told Art David that if the Gracies have a problem with him, they can come down to his school and see him personally. Unfortunately, Emin kept seeing stuff on the internet about him being a coward, that finally he just had to say, And Emin decided that. I'm gonna write a letter. So, in 1994, Emin released his worldwide open challenge to the Gracie family in Black Belt magazine. He said that UFC fights were no more real than entertainment wrestling matches, and he preferred the no rules at all format. The winner takes all the money, but he just asked for two things: that his expenses are paid and just to show that he was a just, true and righteous hero, all the money goes to charity. If the Gracies preferred to forget about it, Emin demanded that they never insult other martial artists ever again. Now, Art Davy wrote back to Emin and said, OK, OK, here's an application form. Send it back to me and I'll make sure that you're in UFC 5, which is scheduled for 7th of April 1995. Horian also wrote to Emin to tell him, hey, if you want to fight a Gracie, you can fight my brother. He'll be in UFC 5. If you don't get to fight him in the first draw, don't worry. If you're the badass that you say you are, you'll meet him in the finals. Oh, and we'll also pick up your travel and accommodation costs as well as provide you with a trainer. So no excuses. If you don't want to do it, then let me know and you can fight Hoist at our academy. Now, Emin didn't get back to either Art Davy or Horian. Instead, he got his lawyer to send him a letter. <laughs> now, the lawyer said, Oi, you're bang out of order, you are. You let your promoter insult all these old-time martial artists and did nothing to stop them. 
You also sat, did nothing when people were calling poor old Emin a chicken on the internet. Bang out of order. Plus, Emin doesn't want to fight in your comp in front of millions of viewers. And he doesn't want to do it at your academy either. You want to know why? So Horian wrote a letter to Emin saying that he can fight his brother Hoyce at the LA Police Department gym and that the fight was going to be in two days. Now come on, you can understand why Emin was like... That just wasn't acceptable. Horian's like, okay cool, let me see what I can do. Anyway, Horian sorted him out with a fight like a month later, but Emin said, hang on, where are we fighting? Horian tells him at the LA Police Department gym. Emin says, but ain't that in California? Horian's like, yeah. Emin, all concerned, argues, but fighting is illegal. How do I know the police won't arrest me after I've beaten your ass? Horian's like, well, you're not fighting me, you're fighting my brother. And whether you fight me or my brother, you won't be beating anyone's ass. You'll be getting your ass beat. So don't worry about the cops either. It's just a demonstration, so it's all good. But Emin just couldn't take that. No, no, no. I can't trust the police. And to be fair, I, I agree with Emin on that one. Horian says, so where do you want to do it? Emin's lawyer says, at the Martial Arts Gazette gym. But Horian's like, hang on, ain't that in California? Emin's lawyer says, yeah. So Horian says, but that's still going to be illegal. That's why I'm, I'm saying that we do this at the UFC tournament. We can make sure that it's illegal then. And with that, Emin's lawyer says, no, no, no. If we don't do it here, then we don't do it at all. Orion's like, okay, whatever. And with that, the fight never happened. I know, guys, that was a bit of an anti-climax. But jokes aside, I do think it would have been great if Emin had fought in the earlier UFC comps, especially if he'd managed to get to fight Hoist. Would he have beaten Hoist? I don't think so. He definitely would have put up a good fight, though. And I get the feeling that Emin believed that if they had a fight that was completely devoid of any rules whatsoever, he would win. Maybe he thought that using tactics like biting, eye gouging or grabbing the groin would help him. The problem with that is, is that even if he was allowed to use those techniques, Hoist would have been allowed to use them as well. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please hit the like button, tell me what you thought of the video and if you subscribe, please leave a comment and I promise I'll reply to you. Until next time, peace and love to you all.